Well, welcome back to Shogun Total War 2 and it's uh, Thunder the Samurai and we're doing the Saga campaign. It's video, what, 8 or something like? I'm not too sure. We've just won this battle here in Busan and here I go recapping again what I probably wouldn't do. So let's get the ships together. Um, that will then protect Busan. I'm hoping to attract these troops to come and attack me so that um, I don't have to. In fact, there's little point in leaving him there anymore, is there? Um, maybe I should get him to try and kill her. Oh, no, that's Choshu. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, I, I, if I can just sort of move Hi. him beyond, I can see I'll whatever else is out there. Um, I think I can see things within range of there anyway, because that's my own territory, so um, I wonder if I can go a little bit further. Treading. Still be able to see him. I can. Not sure. I wonder if I can hop there and then hop back, so I can at least go and have a look, can't oh I? My what's there? Yeah, okay. Um, uh, he's got a cadet school in there. Um, but he hasn't got any troops in there. Looks to me as though this is all his army. So let's just bring those back again so I can keep an eye on those. I can just sort of bob him back and forth, can't I? Sort of looking at whatever he's got there. He might have troops beyond it. I'm just thinking about what he's got that can strike me um, up here in Busan. Really, that's the thing. I, I could do with a bit of time to... Oh, in fact, I think we've already done it, have we? Um, yeah, I was going to say I need a bit of time to uh, repair the stronghold or whatever, but that, that of course is already done. 2,712, I think I'm going to need that money to um, support troops, so I'm going to hang on to that for a little while. Um, I'm not sure if these can I move. Yeah, they can actually. Hmm. Well, let's add the general to them first. And get these doing something useful. Uh, do I need all of those? Do I leave two behind? Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I'll bring them all across. Actually, let's find out how happy they are first. Plus six, oh, they're absolutely fine. So we'll get those across to there. Yes, my lord. Okay. Quick as you like. And maybe backfill those with a couple, actually. Just recruit a couple more line infantry in there. I don't know what's around here, you see, it's all blackened out. You never know, there might be a full army in there somewhere. I don't think I'll recruit in here, but I'll, I'll bring some troops from here. I think I should be, hopefully, he says. Be safe enough in there. Oh, let's see how happy they are in there first. Plus five. So, uh, I can take five troops out of there. Let's just take these out, I think. Um, do I need them all there with those? I'm not sure I do. Ready They're for not facing order. very much down in the south, are they, really? So, no, I'll leave the musketeers behind as well. And just give these guys the horse, I think. Yep. Okay. Right, well, the plan my is for you, to bring boy. this army down south, down to here. Destination okay, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I hope he's going to come and attack me over here. Um, so that will sort that bit out. We've consolidated the troops here. Let's get um, uh, the ships... Ah, I could do a looking around, you know, just to make sure there aren't any enemy ships that might be threatening anywhere. Um, I haven't checked any video, you see. I've just got up this morning and thought, well, finish off where I was up to. Who's that? Uh, Matsuo, or Matsui, whatever. Um, hmm. I don't, there don't seem to be any ships threatening, do there, at all? So, I think we're okay to move around and um, perhaps hit this place. Why not? Here you go. Um... No, nothing, and no ships in here either. Oh, is that a town? And we've hit a general's bodyguard as well that he's got in there, so... That seemed to spin round that then, didn't it, slightly, that um, viewfinder, whatever it is, camera. So let's have a think about that. Here we go. Um, he's on red as well. Oh, ho oh. He might just have a rebellion. Ah, that's interesting, isn't it? If he has a rebellion, will the rebels then go in and take the place, or...? It doesn't show me how unhappy they are, does it, really? Well, it never does. Um, right, okay. How much is that province worth? 1925, and that's with this damaged, with the town damaged. That's, um, it's a good little earner, that, isn't it? I think I've checked that before, haven't I, actually, but... That's, uh, I think I knew, actually, right in the beginning that that one was going to be a better earner than this one up here. 
because um, even with the strongholds and everything, you know, this is only um, province wealth 986. So that's pretty darn good. Right, okay, well, I, I can't think of anything. Oh, yes. Um, this guy on the last video, this um, Ishin Shishi got really, really good. And I'm paying out the troops up here that I'm not sure I really need. So I'm just going to get rid of two of these because I'm on a plus three. Um, and I'll keep the one spear unit because he's quite cheap. And I'll keep these. Basically, it's just because, um, you know, if I build anything on here, you know, that, that's going to give me minuses in the future, you know, it's nice to have that extra little bit of a plus, isn't it? Or if the diameter's on and goes down, or I get a minus from something, I, I, I don't know what it might be, you know, but um, anyway, it'll probably set me a task, and then, because I fail the task, I'll end up with a minus or something, so I, I just want to make sure, really, that I've got that, that base covered, really, if you like, so I think that's it, really. I think that's um, fairly straightforward. Um, uh, yeah, I can't think that I really need to do anything. I don't think I want to be building in here yet. Um, there was a place where I wanted the cannon range. I think I'm building that now. Is it this one here? Cannon range. Oh, does that mean I can get parrot guns now? No, I can't. Ah, no, I haven't got it yet, have I? I wanted, I wanted that, but I can't afford it yet. The Field Artillery School, that was, that was it, I'd forgotten. Right, okay, um, to people who are watching video after video, they'll think, crikey, it's only seconds ago, but no, to me, I'm afraid I've slept since then, so... Uh, right, okay, enough messing around. It's because I've had time to check and plan, you see, what I want to do next, so I'm sort of spending a lot of time just faffing around, thinking, oh, what do I do next, and what do I do next? Um... Really, normally I've got um, normally I've got a list of things that I hope to achieve um, on my next video or so. Was that an enemy coming north there? Ah, he's attacking. Will he reach? That looks like we might have another attack. Huh? Right now, this time we've got the walls intact and we've got two ships giving naval support. Um, he's got 4, 8, 12, he's got 16, but he hasn't got any cannons this time. No wooden cannons. Nor has he got any good melee infantry, any close combat infantry. He's most likely, I would suspect, to stand back in this encounter and try and fire at me. Because if he does that, then my, um, uh, my naval bombardment is going to blow into pieces. And he's got nothing to take out my towers either that are going to shoot at him. So, Quite a successful one, this. Let's hope we get a nice day out of it. And it doesn't pour down the rain like it did last time. But I'll bring you on and get in there anyway. Well, this time I'm not quite so pushed for time because it's in the middle of a video right at the end. And also, I, I don't need to be um, away from the walls, do I? Um, because, well, well, you can imagine, can't you? Because uh, he, he hasn't got anybody that can blow my troops up on the wall, so I might as well just be in position there. Let's just have a look, see where the AI has automatically positioned my troops. Probably all the way round, just looking at the infantry. Oh, I wonder what they're doing there. Levy, garrison, infantry. Oh, is that those? Let's have a look. Yeah, it is, it's those, isn't it? Right, so where have they put... They've left that one vacant for some reason. They've uh, got troops all the way around the walls other than that. They've just left one part. I wonder why it would leave one part like that. Obviously just not enough troops to cover the whole lot, I would have thought. Oh, where's that one facing? Out to sea. Oh, that's why. There's no point. Actually, that's pretty good positioning of the troops. I think I'll accept that. In fact, to be quite frank, I'm not even sure if they need to be there. Um... Right, OK, he's likely to attack from, well, certainly away from the sea anyway, so um, I, if I have a look where he's put these, where are they? There, they're facing south. OK, fair enough, I can always move them round if necessary. These guys here are facing um, also south. I don't see the point in that. Let's get those guys then facing, I don't know really, let's get the Yarikachi facing that way. No, that way. Um, and we'll get these facing, um, where are we, south, towards that one. Okay, ready to charge there. And then the spear levy over 
to this one here, ready to charge anybody that comes through that gate. I think that's probably the best way to do it, don't you? And General somewhere sort of out of the way, I don't know, but I'll get him over here for now so he can influence somebody, so, you know, when the firing starts, you know, he can give them a little bit of a boost. And I think that's about it, really. So, okay, let's see where he comes on then. Yep, predictable. Uh, he's coming on in the east and the west. Um, I did expect some in the south as well, but that's not to be. I don't need the naval support really until his troops start to arrive. Whoops, let's go and have a look who's coming from where. A little bit foggy, or should I say misty. Maybe it's a morning mist or a sea mist. I'm really not too sure. Could be a Scots mist. <laughs> uh, ah, it's very dark, isn't it? Oh, what a pain. You know, at the one time I've got plenty of time to spend looking at the troops. And all the troops are dark. I think it's meant to be sort of like an early morning or something. Let's have a look at these, see if these are any brighter. I think they are, aren't they? Yeah, these are brighter. It's the way the light is, isn't it, really? Fantastic. Okay, he's got some better quality troops in this one, by the way. I, I know I said that he's only got musket troops, um, but look at that. They're chevroned musket troops, and also they are, you know, modern troops as well, modernised troops, so they can, they can fight, you know, they can do close-up fighting. So, we'll just have a look, just to see that there aren't any... No, no, they've still got the samurai swords, haven't they? Okay. Um, there's a debate, isn't there, about whether to go for bayonet troops or not, you know, because, um, you know, to have the bayonet fighting because it's good and it's good fun and all that, but um, I'm really not sure what the best thing is to do. In fact, I tell you what, let's find out where they are. Yeah, well, they're in the least important area, so I think that's a good place for them. Yeah, okay. Um, ready for the naval fire yet? No, we're not. I think it's going to be a fairly easy battle. I hope, he says. Um, it's good that I don't have to... Let's just do a control M and then we can pick up all the musket troops and find out how far they can reach, or all the missile troops rather than musket troops, I think. Right, we're almost there. Now, like I said, I'm hoping when he gets to within range, we can then um, certainly inspire the troops and get the naval bombardment. So, an inspiration plus um, naval bombardment. I think we should just about finish him off. They seem a bit hmm, congregated over here. Let's see if they stay that way. It looks like that's the side where the naval bombardment's going to go in, doesn't it? Because that's the stronger side of the two. He's got some horse, but they're no good until he knocks down the walls, which he might well do. OK, General, I think now's your time to inspire. Inspire these. Yep. OK, and they should be in range very soon. Yes, they are. OK, with inspiration. Excellent. And we can fire our... Can we? Can we fire it? Yeah, we can. Now, hopefully he's going to stand there and get battered, not only by our fire, but by the naval bombardment. Oh, he's advancing. Now, that surprises me. I honestly thought he would stand. Oh, they are standing. That's good. So he's attacking with some and he's standing with others. Well, that's a fair, decent enough tactic, isn't it? But uh, does he know my naval bombardment is going in? That My naval bombardment isn't going in. I didn't set it off. How stupid is that? Well, he's pretty concentrated over there, isn't he? So I think he's going to be in trouble. Right. I want to look over the other side, but I want to see the naval bombardment go in, because it's fun. <laughs> Come on, naval bombardment, please. Blow them all to pieces. Damn, I'm going to have to go and look over the other side. He might be coming over the walls, you see. It looks like these are... Oh, there it goes. Good. Excellent. Right. Oh, excellent. Look at that. Superb. Right, thank you. I'm going to have to stop at that, I'm afraid, because I think there might be some troops coming over here. I thought I saw some hand-to-hand -hand going on somewhere. Where is it? Maybe it's these coming up the walls, is it? I'm not sure. Oh, it's those there. It's those there. Uh, line infantry. They're going down pretty darn quick though, aren't they? How are we doing? 95 out of 150. That's not good. Let's just um, finish him. Oh, he's gone. Is he? Yep, 
He's taken quite a lot of my men away there, you know. He really has. Let's just make sure he's finished off on those walls. Yep. OK, that's the end of him. Right, pull them back again. Ready for the next assault. And I think it might be an idea to bring some of these from over here over to this side, just to fill in that area there. Yep. Can I run them? Yep. I think it's sort of because they've got a bit weak, haven't they? 71 there now. Where's he coming from? Yeah, I think he's trying the gate. What's happening over this side then? Nothing. He's standing there, ready to be fired at. Great! Well, I hit him with my naval bombardment in a moment then, over there. Uh, he's obviously hitting me with better fire than he did before. Can he inspire anybody again yet? No, he can't. Right, OK. Um, we're losing out this time. Look at this. This is the difference in firepower between the quality of the troops, isn't it? And also, I would say, the way that he's fighting. Is he over the walls again here? I think he is. So, well, let's get the Yarikachi in again over there. What have we got here, actually? Oh, we've got some horse. Can we hit him with the horse there? I'm not sure. There, the 70 odd. Let's put these on this wall over here. Just there, out of the way. We'll run those there. And then, perhaps, can we get through here yet? Um, are they enemy? Yes, they are. Right, let's just charge through there, just to keep those away. And the naval barman can go ahead again. Great! Well, not over there, not over there. How about over here? Perhaps here, now. Yep. Just there would be nice, because we might even hit his horse as well as they're going through. With a little bit of luck, you never know. Come on. It takes too long though, you see. You know, when you're watching it, it just takes far too long to happen. Come on, please. Please. Come on. Damn. You know, I'm suffering by doing this, because I can't see what's happening over the other side. See, look at those troops there. They're, I'm going to have to go and look at those. I can't fiddle about like that. I've got to do it. I've got to go in there and see what's going on. Um, right, OK. Let's um, get those attacking as well. It looks like there might be a threat over there. So can the general inspire yet? Um, no. Um, I think it might be an idea to get the spear levy over here as well. Right, OK. Beat back that attack. OK, well this time there's no doubt about it, it's been a heck of a lot more successful. How many have we got there? 124 line infantry there. Let's, it looks like some of my men are struggling, so I'll just draw those in line over here, ready to shoot at anyone that might come through. Right, OK. Right, I think he's running away. Yep, so I end the battle there. We definitely struggled a lot more on that one than we did on the previous one. It wasn't such a clever battle, that one, was it? I think it's partly because he was... Um, well, he, he just fought the battle better. It's as simple as that, really. He'd got better quality troops than he had in the previous attack. You know, well, the other clan that attacked me, I should say. Um, obviously decided he was better off climbing the walls. Um, he seemed to be getting some good effect against me, didn't he, in the units that he did attack. Um, I think a couple of my units went down to about 50-odd men out of 150. That's not good news. Um, but I was only expecting to hold this area anyway. I wasn't expecting to sort of move any deeper into the territory from this particular area. I just wanted to wipe out this particular clan, um, Fukuoka clan or whatever it is, um, and then get strong enough to be able to hold back or even attack the next clan in line. But mm, we'll see. Anyway, I'll bring you back in when the uh, results appear, I think. Well, this wasn't half as bad as I thought. 367 lost. It's not good, but it looks like he was completely wiped out. That's got to be the best result for me, because nothing's coming back at me and he's not going to damage any territory. I lost 120 out of here, but killed 272, so that's a remarkable result, isn't it, really? These 79 killed 279, 54 killed 195. Uh, whatever it was, yes, something like that. So I, I think everybody's done really, really well. I don't think there's anybody that did poorly at all in the whole of that. So I am definitely getting that. Look at that, 19 men left in that unit. 
That is really, really poor. Um, but, like I say, that's an excellent result because... Uh, who's that? Who was that coming across there then? That is somebody heading towards that other area. You know that area that I've just got the um, spearmen in? Hmm. Oh, she never detected. Right, technology research. What's that one? Consular Court, plus one to modernisation clan development, plus ten diplomatic relations. I think that's the one we need, you know, because I want to go for the Western Agenda, which is... where are we? Oh, we're on that one, are we? Cordial relations. Uh, foreign affairs. No, foreign affairs is the one I want. So I get that really smart ship, and I can get some decent quality infantry, and also I get the the various advantages for um, for trade. So yeah, I think I'll stick with that one. Mind you, it's going to take seven turns. It's a long time for that. Um, uh, Armstrong guns just don't do it for me, really. I don't think um, copper plating. Um, you see, you only get one of those really good ships. I'll tell you what, they're damn good when you get them. Uh, no, I'll stick with that. Okay. Um, right. Well, I'll continue to replenish. That one that was on 19 <laughs> is going to take how long? Let's have a look. It's not 19, actually. It's 39, I think. 39. Six turns. i tell you what, that's not too bad at all, that. Um, six turns. This one here as well, this probably... That's only three turns. And that's got... Oh, it's 91 now. Yeah, so... I think that's not too bad, you know. Most of my troops will be fully replenished within two turns. So I think that's I think that's worth going for. Right, OK, well... I don't know where that army was, but there seemed to be an army heading this way. It's, it looked like a small one, though. So I think a normal garrison should be able to hold them off. Let's see if they appear, anyway. When They might, they might do. When I move. They're not there, are they? Well, if they're not there, I don't think they're within reach of here. So I think we're still safe. Can they actually get to... Th ah, two turns it's going to take to get to there. What a pain. It's because the artillery, you know, they move so slow. They really do. Let's have a bombardment on here. Does it cost me anything? 3657 it shows on there. Right, cannon range we hit. And um, we've still got 3657, so no, it doesn't cost anything, does it? The cannon range is the one that only gives wooden cannons, so uh, waste of time for me, so I'm not interested in that. And um, it's quite a short video, 22 minutes. Um, do I carry on? Could do. Um, everything seems fairly straightforward, doesn't it? I can't see what else, really, I need to be doing. Um, it would show up if there were any enemy in there. I didn't see any. So, if I have a look around here, is he recruiting again? I can't, he's not even recruiting, you know. That's amazing. Maybe I should have moved that shinobi up here somewhere instead, so I could have had a look around up there. But I didn't. Um, what have I got in here? Two. I can't afford that cannon range, so I'm going to save up my pennies um, for the um, cannon range, so I'm not going to spend any money this turn. Shinobi detector, quartermaster report, technology research, let's go for it. Okay. I think everything's going according to plan. I just want... I'd, it would be nice on each video to take a territory, wouldn't it? And um, it'd be nice to get as far as he go and, and perhaps take that place. But obviously I'm not going to be able to because um, I can't reach it in one turn. I've obviously done something wrong. Ah, now this I didn't look out for. I didn't look to see if there was a ship that might threaten me. Blast. So what's he going to do? Cut a trade route? Certainly reduce my money, I would have expected, anyway. Uh, now, if I could take Higo this turn, it would get rid of that ship. Probably, if it's you know this particular um, clan that's got the ship up there. Wow, whoa, where have these come from? One, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine against... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <sighs> if I advance towards there, you can bet what's going to happen is he's going to come up behind me and I'm going to end up fighting all of them. I could advance halfway so he doesn't get the benefit of the garrison. Has he repaired this place? 
Yeah, he must be getting plenty of money, mustn't he? Because um, he's repairing it, and he's recruiting troops. Um, I could have done with some ships to go over there and sort this guy out. Who is that? That's the Nabioka. Now, uh, let's have a quick check. Yeah, it's the other ones, isn't it? It's not the Fukuoka, it's the Nabioka. Damn! Um, so he's got about four provinces. I can't wipe him out all of a sudden. I don't even know what sort of ship he's got. That's a nuisance. Because he's going to bombard that port or attack my um, attack up here, isn't he? Hmm, what do I do? Uh, I don't think I can reach him anyway with these. See, what I could do... No, I can't. I can't get there. I was going to say, what I could do is go up there and attack those and then next turn come back here and have these fight this battle this turn. I've only got five minutes of this video left, though. Do I fight them on this video? We would beat them, you know, I'm sure, because... Um, I don't know. Well, no, I'm not sure, actually. It depends what he's got in there. You see, he has got a cadet school in here, hasn't he? Um, so... Oh, I thought he had. Cannon range. He hasn't, you know. So he can't be producing good troops from there. He's only producing levy infantry, you know. I think he's just producing pretty rubbish. Now, I can't get past him anyway. Ah, it's going to make me go all the way round now, isn't it? Because of where his troops... Right, so I have no choice. I've got to fight him, haven't I? Um, it's who I fight, though, isn't it, really? In, in a way, I'm better off fighting them and having these come on as a reinforcement so I can then... I'm still going in the right direction to be able to attack these, aren't I? Uh, yeah, and I'm not going to be able to hit them in one turn anyway, so I think I'm going to have to fight that one. I've only got four minutes left. Can I fight a battle in four minutes? I don't think I can. Is it worth trying? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I think what I'm going to do is begin my next video with a battle against those two. Uh, and I suspect what's going to happen is I'm going to attack him. I can't. Well, yeah, hang on. At your command. I can. Yeah, it'll let me attack him. And then these will come on as reinforcements. Um, I suspect. And then if I can completely wipe those out, that would be brilliant. I'll end up somewhere perhaps down here. Bombard the town, and then I can get him next turn, and I suspect that's the end of all his troops. These are Fukuoka, let's see how strong they are. A son is born, by the way. Concealed enemy discovered, that's it, isn't it? Ah, can I trade? Waji. No, I, I'm not trading with anybody if I have to pay for it, because I'm saving up my money. I, I want, um, a very friendly... Fukuyama. I wonder if I can do it with those. Trade. Request trade agreement. Satisfactory. Oh, we'll have that then. Um, yeah. Ah. Okay. Anybody else that's very friendly? See, the very friendly ones tend to want tend to want to trade with me. Shall I? I'll just try one more. I haven't got much hope for this, but I'll try one more. Request trade agreement. Dealers, unacceptable. No, I'm, like I said, I don't want to be paying out money for these things. 5,746, though. So I can get what I want, which is that cannon rate, not uh, cannon rate, artillery field, whatever it was, um, I think, in here. I just want to double check I'm not actually building it anywhere else. Um, oh, is it? It's not even this one anyway. I've got the wrong place. Um... Uh, um, where is it? There's a place where I can get cannon. I know for certain. Where is it? Uh, oh. Is it one of these? No, I don't think it is, is it? Where is it? market. Get a financial district soon. Barracks. I don't understand. I don't know where it is. Cannon rep. Right, it's there. It's so cushy. It is there. I don't know how I missed that last time. Because I did look there, didn't I? Right, I think it's there. Field artillery school. Let's get that in there. And just double check. I know I can get more buildings, you know, because of this as well, but I'm thinking about other things. What's this? Uh, yeah, the port. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for that for now. 
and then we'll leave it and see what I can spend the rest of the money on. I really don't know, but maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just sort of hang on to that money so I know I've got enough for the future. But um, 2,371 is not a lot of money to be making, really. Uh, I'd like to have... I mean, I'd really like to have a safe 10,000 in the pot, you know, for... I, I, Let's get this clear. Um, I'm playing this on hard, remember, which means that I've got to take 38 territories and not 20 odd. I've got to um, have um, 65 of them pro, um, loyal, well, loyal provinces. Now, I don't know what happens to that when I become um, a republic, if I go for the republic, which I expect I will. I also don't know at what point um, the, the uh, realm divide will come up. Normally it's around about 12 territories, but I think on hard it'll be less than that. So it might be 10, it might be 8 or something, I don't know. It might even be right around the corner when I take the next province, I just don't know. So I, I, I need to be a bit more sort of powerful than this, financially, you know, to be able to sustain an attack from the rest of Japan. <laughs> There's absolutely no way I could do that now. I mean, each of those clans could put an army on ships and just attack every one of my provinces at once, couldn't they? You know, if, if it came to that. And that would very definitely be the end of the game. And I'd be teaching people um, how to lose this campaign. There's no doubt about it. But uh, um, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, um, I need to sort out these on the next video. Thanks for watching again, folks. And um, at least it didn't rain for this um, uh, for this particular battle, which uh, for my country at the moment um, is, um, is is a bit unusual because we seem to have had two months of sheer rain, and it seems to be happening in this game as well. So, okay, thanks again for watching.